ऑपरचुनिटी that until i see there are people all over in this convention center my brothers and sisters it will be very unfair that in the beginning and this is the prime time session that i do not recognize the hard work of the volunteers who have put together this amazing convention may i request you to give a great round of applause for the convention chair and the conventions my brothers and sisters do you know tomorrow when you leave this convention center this team which was working day in and day out will start working for 2023 convention within a week and this is what it takes to bring all of you here for what for what and this is what i have been saying consistently to please our lord allah subhanahu wa taala my brothers and sisters i want to start today's talk with a dua a special dua for a very 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 special person my brothers and sisters there was one person who was our murabbi our leader our nase our mentor who gave us the guidance how to run the affairs of ikna a brother an elder who taught us how to do dawa in this land he left this world just few months back many of you know molana yusuf islahi and i want all of you to make a special duas for his pious soul that he guided us that we are all here my brothers and sisters when i see all of you different color different race different gender different age group what brings you here what unites you as bunyanum marsus the name of allah subhanahu wa taala la ilaha illallah the love of muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam muhammadar rasulullah and the guidance of quran these are the three things which unite us and this particular session is revolving around umma this umma our beloved prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam in very last few moments of his life very last few moments of life he did not talk about his family he was not worried about his illness he didn't care that how sick he was sallallahu alaihi wasallam he talked about you and me he spent nights crying in front of allah subhanahu wa taala for the unity of umma and if you want to gauge you want to gauge what is our strength what is your strength tell me what is your strength any answer unity of umma 
unity of umma there are people who want to give you uh, other ideas but there are three sisters i am going to name three women in islam their sacrifices reignited reignited the concept of umma in islam how many of you know who was the first martyr of islam who was the first martyr of islam a sister a companion has a sumayya radiyallahu ta'ala anha who was at the forefront to give the guidance of sacrifice and shahadat and martyrism in islam more recently you heard the name a girl who stood firm raised the slogan of allahu akbar in a small town in india did it not unite the whole umma did it not caused all of us to be proud of muslim and muslim sister when she raised allahu akbar slogan and again when our enemies see us try to divide us this palestinian journalist shiri arkan gave her life to bring all of you together under the banner of islam my brothers and sisters this is what we need to do this umma this brotherhood is built in in our blood it is built in when people tell you you belong to pakistan you belong to india somebody something happens in palestine why would you care they don't care about you when something happens in kashmir they don't protest these ideas are given in our minds you know what it doesn't work when muskan raised the slogan of allahu akbar in india from the street of palestine to the desert of middle east to the north america to africa the whole umma got united to say allahu akbar and that is what we need to do in this ikna convention my brothers and sisters this umma which is sitting sitting here you know the last smile on the face of our beloved prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam the last smile he had was when the last smile on his face he was ill so ill that he could not stand on his own feet sallallahu alaihi wasallam he could not go to offer prayers he saw abu bakar radiyallahu ta'ala anhu leading the umma in jamaat in prayer he moves the curtain of the window he sees the umma united offering salat and beloved prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam smiled for the last time he want to smile again he will be smiling again seeing all of you together and when you say and repeat after me when i say labbaik say allahumma labbaik labbaik loud enough more loud labbaik 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 this unity of umma is a pain a thorn in the hearts of the islamophobes they want to do, divide you ikna has made this convention to bring all of you together and would you like to join our hands to keep the umma together would you like to do so would you like to join ikna and give support to ikna 
we have done this baseline work. It's up to you, brothers and sisters, when you leave this place, that I am sure this unity of Muslim Ummah here in this convention center, as of today, in Baltimore, you will lead, inshallah, the whole Muslim world to be united. And this Baltimore Convention Center, that is why I want you to join ICNA, join hands with ICNA, and be sure to be part of this great work so we can continue to benefit the Ummah of Prophet Wasallam. And the last thing before I go, and I know Yasir Qadi has to come, Siraj Wahaj has to come, and inshallah he will talk to you. All this work, and I said it la last night, and I will say it one more time. Your organization, ICNA is not my organization. ICNA is not organization of these hundreds of volunteers. ICNA is ICNA today because of all of you. You love ICNA. You own ICNA. This is your organization. And we will stand, I promise you, as the Amir of ICNA, anywhere in the world, if a Muslim brother or sister is hurt, we will make, you, you, we will make a noise and we will become your voice and we will tell the whole world that we are here, United American Muslims, to support our Muslims, whether they are in Rohingya, whether they are in Kashmir, whether they are in Afghanistan, whether they are in Palestine, we will do our role, inshallah. So join ICNA, support ICNA, and be part of the great work. Make our beloved Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam smile and join with him in Jannah. Salaamu Alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.